Now let's talk about some of the foods that will not only make you sick but can potentially kill you if prepared incorrectly. Now this is a topic I really want to educate people on because you really need to know about all these foods. Alright, so I'm going to be sharing some really interesting data. So make sure to stay tuned. Alright, number one is red kidney beans. Now, it is true that red kidney beans are loaded with a lot of proteins, minerals and vitamins. But red kidney beans can actually be tricky. Now, red kidney beans contain this compound here called PHA, which stands for phytohemagglutinin. It's a type of plant-based protein, it's a type of lectin, which are found in plants. And one of the functions of this protein is to act as a natural defense mechanism, act as a pesticide against animals and then other microorganisms from destroying these crops. So when you consume red kidney beans, especially undercooked red kidney beans, that can result in PHA poisoning. Now PHA has a very strong affinity for your blood cells. It's going to cause your red and white blood cells to clump together. And also it's going to destroy those cells of your stomach and that can result in diarrhea, vomiting, nausea, and potentially death. But the good news is that you can actually eliminate this PHA. You can actually destroy them from your, from your diet. And then one of the best ways to do this is first of all by soaking your beans overnight or at least five hours before cooking. And then you're going to discard this water using soaking it and then cooking a fresh water at 100 degrees. And then you need to avoid cooking on a slow cooker as it may not completely destroy this PHA. So you need to cook it at high temperature. All right, number two is apple seeds. Now this is not because an apple a day keeps the daughter away, but because apple seeds actually contain this compound here called amygdala, which is broken down by your digestive enzymes into cyanide. Now this is one of the reasons why apple seeds usually taste very bitter. Now cyanide is actually a very poisonous compound that can interfere with your body's ability to utilize oxygen, and that can result in hyposia. But the good news is that your body can actually break down small amount of cyanide and then you may have to consume hundreds to thousands of apple seeds to be at the risk of cyanide poisoning. Alright, number three is green potatoes. And the problem with green potato is that the green part, which by the way, is a combination of chlorophyll and solanine. And this chlorophyll is very harmless. It does not kill, alright? So solanine is actually a neurotoxin and it becomes very toxic around 2 to 5 milligrams per kg of your body weight. So if you consume green potato, especially the green part, which is a combination of chlorophyll and solanine, that is going to put you at a greater risk of solanine poisoning. And some of the symptoms of solanine poisoning are hallucination, diarrhea, vomiting, paralysis, coma, and then death. All right. So if you must consume green potatoes, always ensure to cut off the green part. And if it tastes bitter, don't eat it at all. All right. Now number four is nutmeg now nutmeg is a very popular spice that i can bet that almost everyone watching this video have nutmeg in their spice cabinet but the problem with nutmeg is that nutmeg contains myristicin which affects the central nervous system by enhancing the release of epinephrine and that can result in psychotic symptoms like hallucination disorientation heart palpitation hyper excitation and all of that so when you are consuming nutmeg, it is very important to consume it in a moderate amount because consuming it in a high amount can result in nutmeg-induced psychosis. Nutmeg-induced deaths are usually very rare, but they happen. There is a report of an 8 years old girl who died 24 hours after eating just to nutmeg. So if you are consuming nutmeg, make sure to reduce your quantity. And then number five is sherry seeds. Now, sherry seeds also contain cyanide, and then just 0.1 grams of cyanide can actually kill a person weighing 140 pounds. And the sherry seeds actually contain 0.17 gram, which means that when you consume just two sherry seeds, that can potentially result in death. All right, number six is processed meat. Talking about bacon, sausages, hot dogs, and ham, and then corned beef, and all of that. Processed meat are actually very high in nitrate and nitrite, which has been linked to colon cancer as well as methemoglobinemia, a situation where you have decreased hemoglobin and that can result in hyposia as well. Alright, number seven is cashew nuts. Now, cashew nuts contain this compound here called 
you will be sure which is the same compound that is found in poison oak or ivy and the consuming raw cashew seed straight from the tree can actually cause from acute to severe allergic reactions you're going to start having blisters streaking and rashes all over your skin but the good news is that you can actually get rid of this compound you will be sure by heating cashew nut at high temperature all right now the last food i want to talk about is cassava now cassava is also very high in cyanide and then there are actually two varieties of cassava there is a bitter and then there is sweet cassava but the sweet cassava is found to be 50 times less deadly compared to the bitter cassava but that does not actually eliminate the possibility of not being able to kill you all right so these are some of the food that if you don't prepare them well can potentially make you sick or can kill you all right so i've actually made a video on some of the toxic food for your liver be sure to check it out